Right, the USS Midway Museum is celebrating 20 years in San Diego this year. Hard to believe that before that, San Diego was effectively without a true tribute to the Navy or naval history. And it's such a gem floating in our bay. Our Kasia Grigorczyk shows us what it took to bring the Midway to America's finest city. San Diego is the birthplace of naval aviation, the original home of Top Gun, Navy Town, USA. San Diegans and visitors alike wouldn't recognize the Bayfront today without this iconic ship that greets them on the water. Before the Midway ever became a salute to San Diego's naval history, its story began when it was commissioned in 1945. It was the only Navy ship to serve from the end of World War II all the way through the Cold War. More than 100,000 sailors served and sacrificed uh, on this ship. A pioneer throughout its years in service, the aircraft carrier was the largest warship in the world for a decade, also the first ship too large for the Panama Canal. But it was an old ship, like an old car, 47 years, and now they were nuclear powered. This ship consumed 100,000 gallons of fuel a day. In 1992, the USS Midway made a stop here in San Diego to be decommissioned, but it would be more than a decade before it returned as a museum. We thought it would just take two or three years to go through the process. Put it in perspective, America uh, fought World War II and won in four years. It took us three times as long, so perseverance, belief in the vision, the support of San Diegans really made Midway's arrival possible. While still waiting for the ship, people like Rudy Shappy were hard at work inside Hangar 805 at NAS North Island for two years, restoring aircraft to eventually show on the flight deck. I began working on my first airplane. As a matter of fact, this is one of them right here behind me. When the Midway docked in its new home January 2004, there was still a lot of work to do. What we needed was to restore this giant chunk of metal uh, and, and make it ready for an audience. In just six months, the floating museum was ready for visitors, opening in June. Co-founders like Scott McGaw say even the Navy had its doubts, but the ship has continued to trailblaze. We were profitable the first month. Uh, we hit our first year attendance goal in three months. Uh, we became the most visited ship museum in the world in three years. As the 20th anniversary nears, there is ongoing restoration and dozens of exhibits constantly being reimagined. Those who were there for the many chapters of the Midway can confidently say it has a proud past as a warship and a lasting future as a museum. When I think about what, are, what footprints have you left in this world when you departed, this is one of my major accomplishments. This is our gift to the nation. Kasia Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News.